just like that. The arc form collection is growing. Nice, nice. Except Frankie. They're on loan. It's not really true. I know. I wish it was true. The Slimfoot, you guys know if you watch the channel here. The Slimfoot is ours. We got it in on trade recently, and it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah, second time around, we love it even more. So, yeah, winner. Winner, chicken dinner. I yeah, believe I think that's that one. Yeah, it's an annoying phrase, but... <laughs> okay, now here's the new Catalyst. All right, these are showing up. I believe there's six different varieties currently on Blade HQ, and yeah. we've got two of them here. Yeah, Frankie. Well, should we get price out of the way real quick? Oh, sure, okay. Yeah, so this represents the least expensive one mm -hmm. at 265. Okay. Yes, and this represents the most expensive at 279. 279. So not a huge difference between the varieties. The varieties come down to finishes and actually um, scale material. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We'll talk about that real quick. Actually, as far as finishes goes, blade finish. There are the two options there. Mm -hmm. The black stone wash. Right. Which is all of the black stone wash ones are the ones that are two seventy nine, and then all of the satin stone wash ones are two sixty five. So that's oh. where you can choose the difference. Interesting. I didn't notice that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you see the stone wash is on the grind itself, and then the satin flats. Yeah, S35 on all of them. Yeah. Frankie, so they all have titanium bolsters. Yeah, they do. And then here's where here's where we, uh, Frankie and I, are into a bit of a... A pickle. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, I know. Okay. These are on loan. We need to send them back. Mm -hmm. We're debating about maybe just sending one of them back. Yeah, which one do we want? We really yeah. want one of them. Which one would we Which one would we keep for ourselves? Which one would we want to, you know, just yeah. sort of acquire? But the purchase? difference is the different onlays. So there's, there's carbon fiber, there's brass, and then there's copper. Okay. So those are the different options. And then each one of them have the pivot collar that matches the onlay, which is really cool. What I really like about Take it. Take a look at that there, guys. You can see it is a carbon fiber pivot collar. Yeah, and how often do you see carbon fiber pivot collars? Nice. That is just awesome. Let's show that. Any, it's it's any, subtle. <laughs> anytime you can get a carbon fiber bolster on there, no, bolster. Pivot collar. Anytime you can get a carbon fiber pivot collar, I love. Okay. It's really just just that little accent that is just just a little, just a little yeah. it is. It is subtle. I didn't really notice or think about it at first. Much more obvious. Okay. This is the brass version. Uh -huh. I just want to call it gold because it's just is it's it's a gold color. So, uh -huh. yeah. But there's the onlay for this one. It does affect the weight on these. Yeah, guys. it does. Yeah. Those ones are way more, uh, way heavier than the carbon fiber ones. You're gonna say way heavier. Okay. Well, let's get <laughs> let's get it out of the way though. May it well. feels way heavier. Okay? okay. I will say, the basic carbon fiber and titanium version feels. Weight-wise, like it should. I yeah, guess. it does. It's not heavy. It's not light. It's just... It's, it's good weight. It's average. Yeah. What do you got on this one? Okay, let's see. 5.35. Okay. Okay, let's see how much chunky weighs. 6.3. Pretty much an ounce heavier. Whoa. That is good weight, though. In again, your opinion. Again, this is a, a knife that I want. <laughs> This is the one I want, so... <laughs> the weight comes with the material. This is just a heavier material, mm -hmm. right? And, yeah, it's, I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's good weight. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, even this is heavier than I would normally carry, but I really like the feel and finish and just everything ergonomically. It just feels good. Would you ever carry the slim foot? Yeah. Would you? Yeah, I would. Okay. That represents kind of a, a bigger knife for you, too. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just mainly pointing it out because I don't think they've made a knife yet. Well, they've only got the two options. Well, they, Both of these. They still need to make the mini slim foot. You know, they said, I think they said they kicked around that idea. They should. Yeah. They still need to. Anyway. Yeah. Hint, hint. <laughs> Again, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you think of the action on these? The action is really, really smooth. And what I like the most about it is the sound. And they vary a little bit between the two. Again, because of those materials. Detent is solid. You can't shake the knife out. Did we mention, Frankie, the production company behind these? Oh, yeah. Riot. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, it is a Chinese knife. But, yes, it is the best Chinese manufacturer there is. Um, arguable on that. Arguable on that. Can you go take care of those dogs? I, yeah, I'll, I I'll keep talking. Okay. You've got Riot. You've got Wee. You've got Reich. Um, these are going to be some of the... 
I don't know, top production companies in the world, regardless of where they're from, right? Yes. You heard all of that. You mm-hmm. just agree. Yeah. Uh, completely. No, but um, Frank and I are big fans of Riot, both the knives they do for... Uh, designers. Designers, and then the knives they do in-house. The knives yeah, they do in-house, they're yeah. awesome. Beautiful. So, no issues there. Cost-wise, I guess these are going to come in maybe on the lower side of a Riot these days. Yeah, it's a good deal for a well, Riot. And actually, speaking of the slim foot, these were three fifty. That's true. And so these are like... $80 less? That's, that's pretty good. nearly $100 off. I mean, mm-hmm. that's... I, I don't know. I don't know what happened there, because this is also S35. But, yeah. I don't know. Different price drop on these. Different yeah. price structure. <laughs> Different price structure. <laughs> yeah. That's one of those phrases I love to hate. All right. Three and a half inch blade. There you go. It's, it's definitely a little taller in this dimension here. What do we have about to compare it to? You know what? Oh, yeah. We actually got this knife out on the super budget version. On the budget side of things, a Kershaw knockout. Kind of like if you like these, you might like this other way around. Uh-huh. The only difference though, this is a slim knife. These we should talk about it here in a second. These these are a little thicker. Yeah, they are thicker. Do you have the calipers? calipers? Yeah, let me just do it right they now. They all measure the same um, dimension wise, but what do you got? 0.58. Okay, so definitely well over the half. He's inch. a little thicker in hand. This one's gonna be oh, on like the slim side. Nothing. Otherwise, I'm really going to... Yeah, 0.39. Yeah, I, I'd really group these together like similar yeah. style of knives. Same blade shape, kind of still same feel and everything. Yeah, even despite the, the handle thickness, just kind of the same feel in the hand. And what one's very similar too is that you just had this posted on Instagram, the 456. Yeah, the 456, and that one has it in common, price-wise and girth. <laughs> Check <laughs> yeah. this out. 0.55. That's it? Yeah. Go to the Go to the rear part. It might get even thicker. Or go to the middle. Go right in the middle somewhere. 0. 0.56. 5, okay, 5, 5. all right. I thought it was thicker than that. All right, still chunky though, <laughs> right? Do I need to measure at the base of the shaft okay, then? Okay, this isn't that conversation. <laughs> there we go. If you like one, you like the other. Yeah, that one's very similar. Yes, it is crazy. It's a Chinese knife that we're comparing over this one. If you, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I know. Potato, potato. And this one's very similar too, but this one's made by We, which is interesting. It's a Ferrum Forge. Yeah, we kind of put them in that same category. Fortis we as in us, the Fortis knives. I don't know. Our upper end production style of knives that we like, I, I suppose you could say. But yeah, the Fortis fits in there as well. Yeah. What were we going to say next on the Catalyst, though? Yeah, these, well, if I end up keeping one of these, it'll probably have a date with the KME. Ooh, yeah, like this one. Yeah, yeah I don't know. A good fat edge on this guy would look really good. Yeah, it would. Well, and with the black stone wash, it makes it really cool looking. Yeah, I think too, I think that reflection mirror. exactly. I think a mirror finish on the uh, against the black stone wash mm-hmm. will really reflect even more. Yeah. Okay, that's telling me a little bit more on that that's one. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I'll definitely if we if we buy one of them, I'll definitely uh, sharpen it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What else haven't we said about them? Uh, I mean, they're a little thicker. Frame lock. Yeah, titanium frame lock. You were pointing out that you could have a little bit better cutout for the. Yeah, if I have one nitpick, you see there could be a slight, just maybe a little bit more recession right here. Sometimes I notice my thumb just wants to slide off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Um, I can I can kind of see that too a little bit. Just a nitpick though. I mean, it wouldn't prevent me from like wanting to get one. There's some jimping on the flipper tab. Frank, you were pointing out how kind of plain these are, mm-hmm. um, logo-wise, and yeah, I like that. I don't like it when there's a bunch of stuff on the blade, mm-hmm. plastering yeah. like what type of blade steel it is. It's fine. You don't need to show everybody what it is. The arc form is actually right inside. I know. Yeah. I love that. Right in there. You see that, guys? I like that kind of feature too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, they did do a change. Oh yeah, instead of on the clip. The slim foot still overall, right? Same except they did throw arc form on the clip, which I don't really care about. I guess preference wise, I suppose I'd go for something like this. Yeah, I just like it more well, simple. When I for, for having a logo on the clip, it's almost like a fashion thing. Mm-hmm. Nobody I'm friends with in real life 
knows anything about knives. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's like, oh, he's carrying an arc form today. It, it, it doesn't do anything for Well, it's know. almost like those kids in high school that wanted to, like, plaster every logo on their sweatshirt mm, or anything okay. like that. Yeah. And I was yeah. never into that. So I was... I, I Again, I'm not, I'm not picking on this one so much because it's to me it's still so subtle. I like the, I like oh, the yeah. font. I like the look of it. It's it's fine. It's fine. But I guess I will prefer just not having it or putting it on the inside. Yeah, I, like I think that. that's, that's super stylish. Yeah, yeah. You don't really see many manufacturers do that. Oh, Frankie, I think that's everything on this one. I just love it. I can't see it being a heavy user. <laughs> no. But uh, it is a nice production uh, collector, though. I want this one so badly. We're not getting both. I want this one. <laughs> this is the struggles. All right, guys. I think that's everything it's from us. It's the pickle that we have in life. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. She's just trying to bug me. Oh, I did want to mention one other thing. Speaking of thickness, blade stock. This might be a turnoff for some. It's 0.15 thickness on there. So it's a little on the thicker side. I want to say the slim foot is the same. Why do I keep Except putting here. the slim foot? I know. I keep, I keep losing it. I want to say the slim foot is the same. And it got bugged because it's called a slim foot and it wasn't exactly slim. Yeah, whatever. Um, it's either the same or possibly thicker. It might be thicker. You want to measure it real quick? Sure. 0.15 is the, was supposed yep. to be on that one. What you got on this one? Same. Wait, what am I? Yeah, okay. 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 I don't know. What Observation else? for some. I think that's everything on this one, though. Oh, we forgot to say, right hand only. Well, right hand only. Again, kind of with that clean look. There's yeah. nothing to interrupt. I mean, Lefties there's the... always just dirty up knives, don't mm, they? Apparently so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it is tip up. We don't have to worry about that. Yeah. These guys, uh, Jeff knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Good spot for a lanyard. Yeah. Yeah, it Good has knives. a big hole for a lanyard. It has a big old hole. Big yeah. old hole. Now, we're liking what we see from arc form, and we may just make one of these ours. Uh -huh. yeah. Which one should we keep? Yeah. Guys, which <laughs> one should we keep? All right, thanks a lot for joining us.